Traveling around the United States with my wife and son in an RV has been the adventure of a lifetime. 15 square meters of living space for three people may not sound like much, and that's because it isn't. So what happens when your parents-in-law fly over from China and join you on this journey? The five of us spent nearly a month together living in this thing, and I'm here to show you how it was done. How good is that? It's perfect! In all honesty, it's not easy, but it is possible. So I'm here to present to you how five people live in a 15 square meter motorhome. Good morning, buddy. Cold last night, wasn't it? I don't think it is. Okay, good. Let's go, Dad. Okay, there's our little heater that kept us warm last night. This little $20 heater. This is where my mother and father-in-law sleep. This little couch pulls out into a bed. They're out for a walk right now, but as you can see, pretty tight I'm trying to get through here. If I need to get out, get some light on in here. Originally, Xiaomai was gonna sleep up here, but instead we made it into kind of a storage area. Plus, we were kind of worried he'd fall off. Parents-in-law here, and three of us back there. It's actually a king-size bed though, so it's pretty comfy, pretty cozy. And it's got a little door so we can make it our own little space. The showers is kind of stored for all our drinking water at the moment. Since we're staying at a campground, they have nice shower facilities, so don't really need to use the shower in here. But we have used it quite a bit in the past when we're boondocking, which means you're camping without connection to power or water or sewer. You're just completely self-contained using the water you have in your tank. We could probably spend about two days completely self-reliant, but then we'd have to find a place to empty our tanks out as well as charge the batteries up. There are a lot of things running off of electricity, lights, our router, you know, powering our computers, TV, Cook a lot of meals out there, especially for dinner like we did last night. So a little shao cow and then pizza pies. Ooh, forgot to tell you about pizza pies. And lots and lots of s'mores. Too cold outside, so couldn't do a fire, but we're still gonna roast some marshmallows and eat some s'mores and play some board games. How good is that? It's perfect. Huh? Take the cracker, pull out the stick, make the sandwich, and let it rest for one minute so the chocolate can melt. Oh no! S'more is just like an American classic snack, roasted marshmallows on a graham cracker with chocolate. Gotta use Hershey's chocolate, that's the standard. Yeah, it's tight, you know, but we, we make it work. All right, we're gonna get ready for the day. 20 minutes later. Before we head into the bedroom, here is our closet, which we share. We've got all of our coats and long sleeve shirts and a few other miscellaneous hats and bags down here. And then we've got a few drawers here as well. Next to that, of course, we've got a pretty good sized fridge. I'm pretty happy with the size, pretty good sized freezer. We can hold a couple weeks worth of food in here if we really had to. And then this guy is in my room. Well, actually it's his room now, at least until grandma and grandpa leave. Oh, messed up the bed. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, never close it. Welcome to my little rear RV bedroom here. I locked this door here so I can have a little bit of privacy. Got my TV, like I said, PlayStation 5. Right here is our laundry, which you can see is overflowing. We're gonna need to do laundry today. Now you can see from my perspective how small this room is. <laughs> and up here is where we keep all the clothing. These two here are mine. These two here are for my wife, I'm not gonna open those. These two here are for Xiaomai, he's got clothes, toys, games up there. And this TV here, if you want, pulls out like that so I can just chill here and watch a movie, play some video games. It's actually pretty comfortable. So this bed here can separate in two and you can do one single bed there, one single bed here. And this area in the middle would be open to walk through but we chose the other formation What's going on out there? Is there a monster? You just can't get full privacy. But anyway, we opted for the second layout where the beds are together. And then I built this shelf here um, around these Ikea boxes so we can have a little extra storage. Gotta have our candles, keep it smelling good. Now I made the bed all dirty. Here's our propane furnace. If it gets too cold, we'll use that. But so far the electric heater's been working well. Now I gotta take this off and go do some laundry. So after breakfast, this is what the kitchen looks like with the table removed. It's got a little couch here, 
and you know our kitchenette. Oh, you're doing what? You're doing meat. Meat. Yeah, meat. 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 Hole here and here through the frame. There's also a few buckles holding on there. And then we just hide the table in here, and then this slide comes in here. You don't even see it. And then, of course, shoes and everything back there. So up above, it's just storage. All the bedding for my in-laws' bed. A few food items, um, their backpacks, and of course, these things cover up the windshields when we're sleeping, so it keeps it nice and dark and no one's peeking inside. Here's our master control center. So here's my water pump. I can check my fresh water. You can see I'm down to two thirds tank, fresh water. Black tank, which is the bad water, is getting pretty full. I'm gonna have to empty that pretty soon. And here I can start the generator if I want. Oh, that's cold, holy cow. We got some more fancy buttons down here. I can bring my awning out if I want some nice shade in the sun, like this. There that goes. We've got a lot of natural shade here, so it's not really needed. Here is our campsite. We had a nice little shao cow dinner. Here last night, pretty quiet, pretty peaceful. Just people out walking their dogs. So if we come around to the other side of the RV, we got all the hookup goodies. Got water here, electric power, and then I think you can guess what that's probably for. And of course, we've got all kinds of storage here. This thing goes all the way through to the other side. I've got firewood, I've got leveling blocks. Now we can have a look from the other side. You can see all the way through there. I got my fishing rods, got our chairs, bike helmets inside i've got a paddle board and a kayak they're both inflatable and just a bunch of other camp cooking stuff that we sometimes use here's the pie maker i was telling you about piece of bread on each side some tomato sauce some cheese and pepperoni cook it over the fire for about 10 minutes and you've got a pizza pie in here i just keep a bunch of tools um jumper cables extra gas drill and here is our hot pot yes like I said, we do like to eat well when we're out here. Uh, in here is something we've only used once before. And that was during Christmas, but check it out. But it's been a little bit cold on this trip, so we really haven't used it as much as we'd like to have, but hopefully the weather will warm up as we head west and we'll get some more use out of it. I forgot to show you the best part, the auto steps. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, let's head back inside here. Now there's a gun. It's lunch time. How's it going? So now you see how we survive, but how exactly do we live? How do we work? What do we eat? Do we fight all the time living in such a small space? Is living this way all fun and games? Or is it actually really difficult for a family? In the next video, I'm going to show you what a typical day for us looks like. I'm also going to show you where we're headed and who's taken over English teaching responsibilities for my in-laws. Oh, hell. <laughs> I see. <laughs> see you all in the next adventure.